Nothing down here's in the right place. You know what that means? It just means more dumb dung I gotta deal with before I can get out of here. Caravan contract job east of here in those old alien ruins. Solosily, they call the place. Some mage out there wants an armed escort, and I'm the only one available to go. I can't stand dealing with mages, especially when it's just me. By Moloch, yes. I could use a partner on this one. Like I said, the pickup's out in the Solosily ruins. Meet me out there and we'll make some coin together. What in Moloch's name took you so long? You think I got time to sit on my arse out here? This job's hit a major snag and I need your help. It's the damn mage, of course. I told you, working for them always gives me a headache and this one's a real piece of work. I got here and the stupid mage, <sighs> well, you better just see for yourself. Follow me. You know, you'd think being made of iron would be unpleasant, but it's actually rather relaxing. Or maybe that's just because I have no emotions. Can you believe this? The fool's turned himself into iron. It's like a practical joke. I keep expecting my boss to step out from behind a rock and just tell me he wanted to see how I'd react. I'd carry the bastard if he wasn't so damn heavy. To stop me from taking him away said some stupid drivel about emotions. If there's one thing I hate more than magic, it's emotions. Can you just deal with this for me? I can't even think at this point. Hello there. I suggest you don't try to pick me up. You'll only injure your back. Don't ask for any long-winded explanations, either. It's tiring to talk when you're made of iron. No choice. That brute was going to forcibly remove me from the ruins, and I can't leave yet. I have to get my emotions back under control first. Precisely. My emotions are gone. Fear, anger, happiness, sadness. They got away from me, in the literal sense. It's this alien relic here. It's a gateway into the Salasili dream state. But by the time I realized it, my emotions were already gone. Yes, you could go into the dream state and convince them to come back. You'll have to upset them, though. Drive them to experience their counterbalanced state. Anger to fear, happiness to sadness, that sort of thing. I can't believe this. You're just gonna lie down and take a nap? going to eviscerate me. I just know it. I don't want to be eviscerated. It sounds awful. Because I had a nightmare, and someone told me they were going to eviscerate me. They described it in great detail how they were going to cut me open and let all my internal organs spill out. My liver, my stomach. It was terrible. And it wasn't a very funny joke. My father was eviscerated, as a matter of fact. I'll put up with a lot, but jokes about evisceration are where I draw the line. Uh, 
Oh, now you're making jokes about my mother. Now you've done it. Now you've made me mad. I'm going back to Anatoly. I'm so glad you came by. I think I'm about to make a new friend, and you know what that means. I don't know about you, but when I make a new friend, I like to have a celebration. Buttons does too. Buttons and I are favorite friends, but there's always room for one more inside our circle of love. And you're invited. You want a quibble cake? Oh, my grandmother gave me Buttons as a pet when I was just a little boy. We were inseparable. When I was little, he carried me on his back. And when I got big, I carried him on my shoulder. Buttons is my favorite friend in all of Tamaril. Hey, you, you stop that. You're hurting Buttons' feelings. You're hurting my feelings too. I'm going back to Anatoly. What are you looking at? Did I say you could look at me? I don't think so! I don't even want you sharing my air. You're a festering boil on the lip of reality. I don't like boils or things that fester. Move on. Or do you have a problem with that? Oh, tell me you didn't say that. Tell me I didn't hear that right. How would you like a staff blast to your stupid ugly face? Let's find out! Prepare yourself. Did you see how gray it is here? Everything is gray, just like my life. One long chain of miserable, lonely days, each one worse than the day before it. Do you know why it is that I even bother to get out of bed? I don't know. I was hoping you knew, but now I'm disappointed again. I always tell people how bad things are, and then they get worse, and so the next time I see them, I have to tell them all over again. Do you want to know what else is sad? You're fobbing. You expect me to believe that you really want to listen to all my complaining? You must think I'm a fool. No one wants to hear all this. It's boring. I don't even want to hear it myself. <laughs> now that's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. 
You think if I stop talking about it, it'll just go away? Like that's some secret trick to dealing with sadness. That's just hysterical. You're funny. You should be a minstrel. For some reason, looking at you makes me want to vomit. My emotions just feel like they're going to burst out and run away again. Overall, though, I am feeling a little lighter on my feet. I think so. I won't know for sure until I get home to my wife. Come to think of it, she's very similar to this alien relic. She's old and strange and brings out all of my emotions. Regardless, though, I'm ready to go whenever your friend is. So when I saw you go down for a nap, I decided this partnership was over. I certainly didn't think you were doing your part. Then the mage suddenly stands up and says he's ready to go, and that I have you to thank for it. Is that true? All right, all right, I don't need to hear any more. I'm not gonna pretend I understand any of this, and I don't really want to. Here's your half of the payment. I'll make sure the mage gets safely to his destination. <laughs> 